There she blows, YouTube. That is 10 tons, six cubic yards, plus or minus, of number 2A, or 2B with dust, depending on where you live, limestone, three quarter inch rocks, all kinds of fun. Showed up at my house at 7.30 this morning. My family was thrilled. Anyway, we're gonna put that rock in the hole we put in the last video, but we're gonna put some wood around it so that the rock doesn't look quite as much like rock. So let's go to the hole. Well, so here we are out at the hole and the basic plot is pretty simple. You bring this rock out here and you put it along the edge of the hole. And then you take your tamper of doom and you beat the hell out of it until you have a nice flat platform on which you can set your timbers. It helps a lot if you find the high spot. In my case, that's this corner. Uh, I put a little spacer there. It's a piece I cut off of another, another timber just to make sure I get this first one in the right spot. And your goal is level. Level left to right, level front to back, level on the ends, level any way you can check it. And how do you achieve this? Trial and error. You put the wood in place, you tamp it down, you put the level on there. It's not where you want it to be. So you curse, you move the timber, you add some rock to the low spot, you tamp again, you put the timber back. It turns out you did too much. So you curse again, you move the timber, etc., etc. Lather, rinse, repeat until you have that first one in there absolutely, perfectly, totally, and completely level. He says as he zooms in on what probably is not level. Once you've got the first one in, it serves as your reference point. You just start working your way around. Again, start at your high spot and work out both directions. I put the first one in. I'm working on getting the second timber in along the long side. And I will stagger these joints. It's 18 feet. So I had to get a 10 foot timber and an eight foot timber. And on the other side, I'll, I'll swap them so the joints don't line up. But anyway, I'll get those two in along that side and then I'll move over here and I will work on putting the timber in on this short side so that I will have both connections to my high point done. And then obviously I just work my way around. I use the existing timbers as a reference for the ones that go in last and I will end up clear over there in that far corner. Say hi, Josh where I'm gonna have to probably add quite a bit of rock to bring this up to level, but that's okay. I'm gonna fill this hole with rock anyway, so putting it in to level the timbers isn't like it's wasted work or anything. Um, and it's a lot easier to add rock than to remove dirt. So I'm gonna get back to work here and uh, move some rock and start tamping, and hopefully today I will be able to get this thing completely framed and I'd like to actually get that pile of gravel out of my driveway. So if the rain will cooperate, which it hasn't done for two weeks now, uh, we'll make some progress. Well, this is what it looks like once you put in all the blood, sweat and tears and you get your frame in place. This is also what it looks like when you do a crap job of backfilling and tamp it down with a tractor. Need to work on that. Uh, this is also what it looks like when you grossly underestimate the amount of rock that you need. <laughs> I was a little bit tractor happy when I was digging the hole and I ended up having to put in a couple of inches of rock that I wasn't expecting. So I'm gonna turn this into a positive and get some stone that looks a little better for the top layer. So this 2A that has all the fine chips and the dust makes a wonderful foundation, but quite frankly, it's pretty ugly. So I'll spread that out nice and even, tamp it down, have a good solid base, and then I'll probably get some 2B limestone, which is just the bigger chunks. Uh, either that or we'll see how the budget is. I might spring for some river rock. Anyway, I'm gonna fill this up with rock of some kind. Won't be this, um, but it'll be then nice and level and pretty and have good drainage and all that, all that fun, happy stuff. Still have a little more backfilling to do over here. I started to do it and then realized the tree was in the way. So um, yeah, what are you gonna do? Have to do this part by hand, which is why it's not done. Anyway, that'll do it for today. Hopefully the weather will continue to cooperate. I can get the rest of the rock I need delivered. 
This time I'm going to have the rock poured straight in the hole so I don't have to move it all. And at that point we'll be ready to actually start building a shed instead of a rock filled hole. Stay tuned. <laughs>